more of these Houston <coughs> Texans franchise, minus 17. So, evidently, we'll look at the story. But I've already won my third league MVP, apparently. Johnny Menzel actually won a, the MVP this season. So that's pretty spectacular for us. Look at the playoff schedule so far. All right, so the wild card. The Steelers beat the Broncos. The Cardinals beat the Seahawks. The Chargers beat the Bengals. And the Saints beat the Packers. So now it's Saints, Panthers, Patriots, Steelers, Cowboys, Cardinals, and Texans, Chargers. We'll look at the seasons and the season stats. 5,238 passing yards, 40 touchdowns, 16 picks. First but uh, threw the game up ball a couple times. Lamar Miller, 400 carries, but he had over 1,700 rushing yards and 8 touchdowns. Corey Coleman, 77 receptions, 1,270 yards, and 13 touchdowns. Kenny Steele, 74, 8, 813, 7. CJ Fedora, 71, 902, 4. Lamar Miller, 66, 909, at 6. DeAndre Hopkins, af even after missing a couple games, 62 catches, 1,200 yards, and 10 touchdowns. And then here's a bunch of other guys. Nardrum McKinney led the team in tackles with 127. J.D. McClowney led the team in tackles with also 22. Whitney Merciless led the team in sacks with 16 and a half. Whitney, uh, J.J. Watt did not. Uh, barely missed it by half a sack. And Bernard McKinney and David Amerson both led the league in picks. We let us in touch picks. I mean, let us in interceptions, yeah. No kick return. No punt return. Yeah. So interesting. Uh, I don't think I think Philip Rivers is still playing. Yes. So we'll see what happens. Touchdowns, Johnny Manziel. Interceptions goes to Jared Goff. Let's see who got sacked the most times. Teddy Bridgewater got sacked 64 times. Eli Manning, 64 as well. Let's see how our Charger, the Chargers do. Actually, wasn't it the Lions that had Tom Savage? It was. Tom Savage had a pretty good season for us. 15 touchdowns, 2 picks, and then we kind of just didn't use him. So, all in all, he was decent. Time to a one year deal. You know what? Who was? Chargers picked up Jalen Strong. Jalen Strong had an excellent season. 68 catches, 12, 1,100 yards, and 5 touchdowns. Melvin Gordon had 20 rushing touchdowns? Jesus Christ. They only used him in goal line situations. I hear stealing touchdowns from uh, Brandon Oliver. Des Bryant is still a beast. Allen Robinson with the leading receiving yards. Allen. Uh, Des Bryant led the league in touchdowns. 15. Damn, Perry Riley had the most tackles. Aaron Donald had the most tackles for loss. Sacks goes to Cameron Jordan. Yeah. Look at the yearly awards. I know it was a little bit. But Johnny Mantell came in first. Uh, Lower Miller had second. One of my second coach of the year. Or my third, I should say. Johnny Manziel wins Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player goes to Ray Malaluga, Offensive Rookie, Sean Rudolph, Defense goes to Picard McAllister, which is not good, we're going to have to see him, Johnny Manziel, Best QB, Best Running Back goes to Lamar Miller, Best Receiver goes to Corey Coleman, Best Offensive Lineman goes to Dwayne Brown, Deshaun Ricks is right behind him, Best Defensive Lineman goes to Corey Lechettes, Woody Merciless was number 4, J.J. Watt was 6th. Best linebacker goes to Ray Maluga, of course. Not a single. Well, J.D. McClown came in 10. Best DB goes to Casey Hayward. 
uh, David Emerson was ninth. Best kicker goes to Zach Hawker. Uh, Kwame Fairbairn came in second. Look at the NFC side. Cam Newton. Defensive player of the year, Levante David. Offensive rookie of the year, Connor Anderson. Defensive rookie of the year, Gr- Griffin Urbic. Best QB, Tony Romo. Best running back, Ezekiel Elliott. Best wide receiver, Des Bryant. Best offensive lineman, pretty much all three of these guys, but Tyron Smith. Best DB, defensive lineman, Olivier Vernon. Devontae Davids, best linebacker. Best DB is Elijah Scandrick. Andrew Franks, it's best kicker. Alright, so after all that, let us. Oh no, we gotta see, we gotta see injuries, we gotta see injuries. My apologies, apologies. I have to see injuries. Of course, we are still without DeAndre Hopkins. Turns about Jason Ferret. So their best corner and our best receiver is pretty much gone. But we will play nonetheless. Division around. Let's get it. Lock in. Okay, so whoever wins this game goes up against the Steelers. And the Saints advance. With that three. Having a linebacker and Kenny Allen is not a recipe for success, but we'll try something. Oh, Jalen Strong. Oof, when Archer McKinney got him. Loss of a yard. Ooh, Bernard McKinney got him. Let's go, we stop him. The Saints apparently are going to the conference here. Fine enough for me. You know what's crazy? Johnny Manziel has two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowl rings. But didn't play in any Super Bowl. Lamar Miller picks up 15. That's his own. Ten yards, got the first. Fresh set of down 
runs here. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. A first down carry now for Miller. Got a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Eight yards. There on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, oh, it's man. Sure All right, run. Kenny Stills picks up 12. Number 12 as they move the chains. First down coming there on the intermediate passing play. That's been a point of emphasis they told us in practice using those medium routes to keep the defense off balance. And it wasn't just them telling us. We got to watch them practice it and work on it because they've been 7 yards for Lamar Miller. He is cooking this Chargers defense. And he steals. Beats Casey Hayward. Touchdown. After the one after the first quarter. So we'll see how the defense responds here. Chargers coming out of the field now. And the last drive, the first drive for them. Not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Oh no. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Bernard McKinney. Oh, Keenan Allen got it. Six yards. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends his drive. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped out a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here's a carry for Oliver. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. The insistence of speed at every position is really seen at the defensive end spot. These guys in old days were often outside linebackers. They just pushed them forward because they wanted to play fast and get to the quarterback or the running backs quicker than ever before. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose yards. Hey. Whitney Merciless, oh my god, Whitney Merciless injured him right now. Seventeen yards, thank you. All right, six thirteen when we take ball back in the first quarter. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was a dot. I should have been caught. Oh, Lamar Miller's gone. 
Oh my god. Damn, Corey Gunn just took, took care of him. Oh, just having on clown comes through again. Only getting to be hard though, if anything. JJ Watt got him. Let's go. JJ Watt got him again. Derek Thomas. Oh my god, I let Lamar Miller get killed there. Apologies. Throw it to him. Kenny Stills was open. Probably should have thrown it to Lamar. He was open. Where are these Kenny Stills? He read it. He read it like a book. There we go. David Amerson with a nice little tackle there. Only getting a three. Thank you, sir. Oh, Brendan Oliver. Six yards that time. Interception was what they needed for the rivers and shotgun. Keaton Allen motion throws it to Brandon Miller, picks up nothing. I actually stepped out of bounds, unfortunately. Second and ten now. 
has a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong. He's a all right. Coquit and Bernard McKinney got to him. Yeah, only get a one. Slot receiver is Travis Benjamin. Philip Rivers in the shotgun formation. Philip Rivers throws it, completes it, Hunter Henry. KJ Dillon got beat on a corner route. Hunter Henry picks up 17. And that's going to be end of one, I believe. Oh, they got off the play. Oh, but a gain of two. But we're gonna be up 14 nothing. Play action on Trey How Got him. Oh my. Travis Benjamin just mossed Jonathan Joseph. That's wild. Oh, CJ dropped it. So has all time in the world. Gonna chunk it up. Corey Coleman dropped it. He dropped it, but he was wide open. That's two drops already. Kareem Jackson got him. Check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, 
swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Heading out as the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now for the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Flushed out right. And did he get the feet down? No. They'll say he did not. It's incomplete. And there we saw rolling right out of the pocket. Maybe his momentum taking him toward that sideline led him a little too far. Yeah, that is difficult, isn't it? Plus, you're closing down your space, right? You're, you're shortening the field for your receivers. And their inclination is to go towards the sidelines as fast as the quarter. Got it. As well. Hard for them to throttle down to make themselves enough. Oof, man. But give the defensive guys a little bit of They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy should be your safety valve we saw right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. And they'll get it man, Lamar Miller's killing it right now. Five at the 44. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And the Texans are going to have a first. Jesus. Oh, my God. Just, just get, just get a couple yards. Oh, Parker still got in my way, dude. Coleman picks up 12. That's methodically just, you know, go down the field. Okay. Coleman picks up five. Alright, Braxton. I guess I'm gonna have to trust you. Braxton Miller picks up 13. Let's go. They're not they're not covering these drag routes, man. 14, I apologize. Oh, the Marvel. Really. Only 10 yards. Damn it. Thought I had it. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. First and goal defense. And he gets in. Lamar Miller does it for me again. Now we're gonna go up 21 7. 13 plays, we took up 7 minutes. Oh, I may have muffed this. 
Alright, it's on y'all guys, it's on y'all guys. Fortune of remaining in the second half. What is this? Oh, JJ. JJ got him. 10 yards though. Down at first. But Archie McKenney picks it off. Nick Xavier Shilafilo is out there. But Archie McKenney picks it off though. Smart Miller picks up seven. Oh, threw it out of the way. Let's go. Oh, Lamar just stepped out of bounds. Fourth and inches. Now oh, we're going to kick a field goal. Okay. <laughs> Get him. Charles would place like that work. It's a thing to be. That is hilarious. Hold on. Who was open? No one was open on this play. No one was open. <laughs> That is so hilarious. Oh, he left him wide open. Getting that strong. Should have just kicked the field goal, man. Should have just kicked the field goal. Jesus.
over the middle. The catch by Coleman. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Here's Manziel. Coleman has it here right side. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Now Manziel. Oh. The intended target was Corey Coleman. And it's second down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And stills over the middle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They get the completed pass, but still have more to go here on third down. Manziel. Oh, shit. Okay. He finds Coleman. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw here on first down. And this is caught at the 8. And he's brought down after a good game. Give them 22 on that one. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just chuck this Damn. up into row G. It's incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. They'll set up a throw. Oh, my... Jesus Christ, man. Here in the playoffs, you hope to have close games where both sides are putting it all on the line. And that's what we have so far. It should be a very exciting second half. Jesus, sir. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Texans with possession halfway through one. Here the pass would be completed into coverage. And this play will go for six as they put the first points on the board. They take it at the 33-yard line. Miller's going to take off here, and he'll run it in from 67 yards out. That puts them on top by 14. Texans take it at the 44. Here the defense will come up with the pick. Chargers will come away with the football. Now following the interception, quick pass is complete, and this play goes for a score. The Chargers down by a touchdown. We move late into the second. Miller's looking for room to run, and he cap off the long drive with the TD. Texans up by two touchdowns. Now following the pick, completion is made across the middle of the field. And a quick free play drive ends with the score, cutting the deficit to seven. Still late stages of the second. The hurry throw would be picked off. Leach is the one who makes the pick to give a boost to his defense. So that's going to do it for us. We'll send you back now to field level for some more playoff football. Thank you, Ella. We'll be back with the second half.